everybody. I had quite the sleep in today. I woke up around 9 or 9.30 and I fell back asleep thinking I'd wake up maybe just 15 minutes later or something, but I ended up waking up at 11 and that is a lot later than I usually sleep. I usually have my vlog almost edited by 11. So I had a really late start to the day, but I think I really needed a good sleep. I've been really tired lately and feeling a bit sick. Like I have a bit of a sore throat, cold type symptoms like the past recently, yesterday, today. I have half of the vlog edited that needs to go up tonight done. Um, but it's late in the afternoon, it's like 3 p.m. now, and I really want to get outside. I just feel a lot better when I get outside for at least a few hours a day and just like explore, talk to someone, um, I don't know, get some sunshine. So before the sun goes down, I want to head out and just do a bit of stuff and then I'll come back and finish it later tonight. The other day when I was in Shibuya 109 and I was looking at the stationery, it really made me want to do a bit of stationery shopping. I have a few things coming up that I need to plan for and like thoughts I'm thinking and stuff like that. So I kind of want to go and get a few stationary items like maybe post-its or um, journals or pens and all that sort of stuff and I just ordered some stuff on azos.com that got delivered too so I was thinking I could go and check out what's in like Tokyo Hands and Plaza and Flying Tiger that sort of thing and then I can put them all together and do a stationary haul because I love stationery and I think some of you do too from some of your comments before and I know a bunch of you are going back to school or have gone back to school or are starting new jobs so maybe you'd be interested in a stationery haul. So I think I'm going to make one of those very soon depending on what I can find today. So I want to get out and do some stationery haul shopping and also um, I still need to find an outfit for my Hong Kong event. I've been to Shibuya, Harajuku, and now I want to go to Shinjuku because that's my other favorite spot to walk around and go shopping. So yeah, let's head there now before the sun goes down. Oh, someone was waiting outside the door. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should walk you first. Hey, we should go outside. Go, go outside. Go outside. You go outside. Yeah, you have to? Oh, I thought so. Okay, let's go for a walk. I have arrived at my first location, which is Isitan, for two reasons. One is to shop. Also, they have this smoothie place called Sky High, which makes really, really, really good smoothies and juices. So I'm going to grab one of those, walk around, check out the fashion and the makeup, and yeah, let's go. got my drink so now I can start shopping. I'm in the shoes section. I love looking at shoes but that's the last thing I need to buy right now. So I should get out of here. What's this? It's cute. Every time I come here, I look at this. These are pens, and you put them in these little fake grass things. You can buy a bunch of pens and then like make a bouquet, and they look so cute, but very summerish. So I wanted—I don't think I want to put them in my room now, but super adorable, bright colors. I'm currently in Luminae. I'm gonna head. 
head to Snydo first because that's my favorite shop and I have a feeling I might find something there to wear to the event. They always have really pretty dresses and kind of feminine, elegant, but still cute style. Is closed. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm not heading there, so maybe I'll just go to Plaza and then head to Tokyo Hands and then I'll go home. This Plaza, it's got everything in it. I didn't really find anything in stationery, but they have a lot of health foods here. There's quinoa, these look really nice lemon and herbs quinoa, Italian quinoa, chia seeds, muesli, hemp protein, hemp seeds. I don't want to get these, but they're a bit heavy to carry around. What's this? One day or seven days fasting microbi enzyme. I went to Tokyo Hands. They're having a sticker sale, so I ended up picking up a whole bunch of stickers, which I wasn't expecting to do because I never do that. But they were so cute. You guys will see them later. I'm in the basement now in their um, supermarket, and I'm getting some food for dinner, and they have so many baking supplies here so I was thinking to bake something tonight. Ingredients and sprinkles. This is like a baker's heaven in here. There's just like rows and rows of flour, different toppings, cute packaging. Hmm. I'm home now as you can tell. I edited and uploaded the vlog. It took me a lot longer than usual actually because there's so much footage from yesterday but I had a lot of fun editing it because it was so gorgeous and I enjoyed reliving yesterday and seeing it all again. I had a lot of fun. But yeah, that's done and my grandma called me after that and we Skyped for 30 minutes. I had dinner and now I want something sweet. So I wanted to make and show you how to make my easy vegan black bean blender brownies. <laughs> that's what I'm going to call it. So, you'll need a blender just to make the batter. So what you're gonna do first is add one can of black beans, so 15 ounces, to your blender with two tablespoons of coconut oil. And we're just gonna blend this together until it's smooth. Okay. It's okay if, there's still, if it's still a little bit chunky. If some beans are still a bit in chunks, it's gonna taste fine. Now I'm gonna add in the chocolate chips and, sorry, uh, a half cup of chocolate chips, dairy-free chocolate chips, or if you're not vegan, you can add regular ones, and a half cup of coconut sugar. You can use any sugar you like though. And I'm just gonna pulse it together. Now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of cornstarch, a quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa, Cocoa powder, cacao powder, cocoa powder, I'm pretty sure. And then you want a half cup of gluten-free flour. I used a quarter cup of cornstarch and a quarter cup of brown rice flour, but you can use whatever kind of flour you want as long as it equals up to half of a cup. That's everything. I'm just going to try and mix this together manually first. So these are going to be chewy, rich, full of fiber, vegan, gluten-free, brownies, healthy brownies, when they're done. You know what, I'm just gonna get my hands in there, it's the easiest and fastest. Mix it all together. The batter is gonna look like this. It's really thick, sticky, good consistency. Okay, now I'm gonna lightly spray this pan so that it doesn't stick. Push it out so that it's flat and even. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius and you wanna bake it for 35 minutes, 35 to 40 minutes. If you have a small oven, it's gonna be around 35 minutes. Watch it though, um, to check if it's done earlier. And if it's bigger, it's gonna take 35 to 40 minutes. All right, while that's cooking, I'm gonna do a mail time. I'm so excited to open my mail. I've been waiting these last couple of days, but things have just been too hectic and everything ended late and I've been tired, but anyways, let's go do it. Okay, where do I start? All right, she couldn't fit the box in this one, so I'll just show this one first. She as an Anna, because everything's sent to my agency, so she kind of puts it together for me. Shuhui from Singapore. I'm guessing this is for Rosie. Love pets, this is so cute. And these little 
She also sent me these little cartoon stirring spoons. Thank you, Shuhui from Singapore. Aww, she sent this for Rosie's recovery. So I can cheer her up. You let me tear up. Thank you so much. It means so, your words mean so much to me, the things you said in here. Thank you. It really reminds me why I do what I do. Well, there's a lot of letters to this one. California. All Kuromi chan. The letter, the headband. I can wear this during Halloween. It's so cute. Sandra. Thank you so much, Sandra. Oh, from UK. Ooh, what is this? The Goodness Project. Thank you, Rachel. Wow! Look at these snacks. We've got raw bite, organic fruit and fruit and nut bite in spicy lime, apricot and chia seed flapjack, 100% organic cacao dairy free chocolate bar. Goji goodness, raw superfood flapjack bar. And Rude Earth, the pumpkin, a bite sized pumpkin pie will go anywhere. No refined sugars, gluten free, dairy free. Nice. And so many teas. Morning Mojo tea. It's a lively blend of green tea, cocoa peel, green coffee, and ginseng. That sounds really lovely. And puka, elderberry, and echinacea tea. Thank you so much, Rachel. This is amazing. So I guess I'm not sure if Rachel is a part of this company, The Goodness Project, but I'll just tell you guys. Um, this stuff is sent from www.thegoodnessproject.co.uk. So I guess they do international shipping on these healthy snacks. Okay, who is this from? This is a big one. Oh, New York. Julia. Wow, you sent me something big. Julia says, I have the same diet as her husband and her, so she sent me some vegan and gluten-free treats. Thank you guys so much. Oh, wow, even treats for Rosie. Healthy dog treats, natural, vegetarian, crunchy, and wholesome. Peanut butter, oh, she loves peanut butter. Aw, she got, she's gonna be so happy. Now she's in here. Ooh. Wow, I'm so excited to try this. <gasps> I never knew this existed. I love their pizzas, but this is deluxe white cheddar style mac and cheese. Oh my God, Charlotte's gonna be jealous. That looks so good. Organic cashew butter. Ooh, that's gonna be very useful. I heart quinoa, quinoa clusters. Ooh. Those look delicious. Sorry, my camera battery died. The last thing was this oatmeal fruit squeeze drink. Oh, she knows which ones are hers. She's just going after it. Look, you got a baby. <laughs> are you scared of them? That's Rosie's. He's not. It always takes her forever to warm up the toys. By tomorrow, she'll love him. And what are the? Oh, these are good. Oh, what did Rosie get? All right, now I'm gonna read through all your letters. And I'm gonna cry. Mm, thank you, Madison B. Thank you for your letter, Haley. Wow, Rosie is actually eating this treat and usually she won't eat hard treats because her teeth are so little, but she's loving it. And she's so picky with her treats. I'm so happy that you sent me that because, yeah, there's only one right now she will eat. And now that I have two. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna check on the brownies. I think they're almost done. This is from Annabelle. Thank you so much, Annabelle. This is beautiful. I love when you guys send me photos because like I said, I really wanna make a wall when I move and get a bigger house. This is perfect. Because so many of you guys take me on Twitter and Instagram and I love your work. So if you could please send it to me, that would be amazing. I'd love to actually hold it and look at it in real life. Finland, wow. Thank you, Jade. This envelope is really pretty too. I'm just covering your address here, but thank you so much for your letter. This is a little sticker of Rosie. Let me see who sent this. Thank you, Lily, for your letter. Thanks for writing to me, Natty. Thank you, Liam. Liam sent me this recipe for Ethiopian lentil curry. Definitely have to try that. It looks really good. And his website is... Where did I see that? 
liamdhughes.com. Very nice, thank you. This is my hand watercolor painted Gudetama. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow, that's so cute. Look at that. You're a really good artist. Thank you, Chasley. Oh, you guys, your stories are insane. And a lot of you, the things you tell me, you haven't even told many people before. And I seriously feel like even though I can't see you, like I would love to see you and hug you so much. But um, I really do feel like we're truly friends. Like you know me and I know so many of you now from either meeting you on the street here or your letters. Some of you email me, even though I don't reply to all my stuff or all my comments. Um, emails, etc. These things, I do read them all and you they mean a lot to me, more than you guys could ever imagine to just understand parts of you guys, where you're from, what you've been through, what you're, what you're doing, what your goals, what your dreams are. Thank you so much for telling me them. This is drawn by Effie. Thank you so much. Valerie from Georgia. <laughs> oh. Oh, Valerie wants to make me a dress. That's so lovely of you. She, mm, you need my size. Uh, U.S. dress size. I'm either a zero or a two. Depends how it fits. So, if that makes sense. Like, if it's tight up here, it's going to be a two. But, I, but um, if it's quite loose, because here and down is usually a zero, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, a zero to two kind of thing. Oh, that's so nice of you though. You don't have to do that. Um, but Valerie wants to start an Etsy shop and she loves making things. And she's finally starting a business. So yeah, I can't wait to see what you create. Oh, Portugal. Thank you, Cardina. So pretty. Thank you, Marie. Good luck in China. Thank you so, so much. I really enjoyed opening everything and reading everything. You guys are really amazing people. I'm so glad that we found each other. Now I'm gonna dive into this brownie. It looks amazing. It would be even better with ice cream on top, but I don't have any right now, so I'm just gonna eat it like this. I'm gonna watch The Huntsman, that Snow White movie. Let's try these brownies. Mmm. So good, guys. These are so rich and flavorful, but they're still soft and chewy. The beans give it a really good texture. I hope you wouldn't hear me with my mouth full sword. <laughs> These are delicious. I think I'm gonna eat at least half of them tonight. No, I know it smells good, but you can't have chocolate. Oh, and by the way, if you're living in Japan and using a small oven like that, these cook really fast. I think it only took 15, 20 minutes. So just watch it. You sleepy. Thank you.